Right, tell you dear champs, let's talk about some things today, some Apple stuff. Why they nerfed the MacBook Pro 16, the release dates of the new MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs, a new Apple gaming console, PlayStation 5, Xbox, you better be worried. And just maybe Apple might be selling Apple Silicon to PC makers. Wow, that could change things. Maybe Microsoft are being quiet for a reason. When it comes to supporting the Mac, because maybe they're making an ARM Windows and it can run on Apple Silicon. Bye bye Intel at this point. So anyway, let's get into it. So a lot of these rumors come from Mari QHD on Twitter and a lot of people follow him and he has had Apple rumors before and his track record's pretty good. But um, with rumors, always a pinch of salt. Also, some of these things are from Minjiho and all that as well. So let's get into it. First, the Apple console. Yes, Murray QHD says he's hearing Apple may be working on a gaming console. Yes, to rival the PS5 and Xbox series, whatever it is, this could be very disruptive. Because if you think about it, mobile gaming is huge already, right? You already have AAA titles on the iPad or iPhone for that matter. You know, PUBG, Fortnite, Call of Duty, stuff like that. So imagine now that Apple are making Apple Silicon and they're going to be making it for a Mac Pro. So they will be making some really powerful hardware. I mean, if you're talking Mac Pro, it's going to be faster than a console, isn't it? Well, that's the potential of Apple Silicon at least anyway. So if this is true, think about it. A Mac mini sized console that can be your Apple TV that also plays games. Because I have Apple TV, my son plays games on it all the time, the Apple Arcade games. Imagine now, you have this super powered sort of Mac mini console. It won't cost that much because it's using Apple Silicon. They'll probably charge the same as the PS5 or whatever, but it will at least have the same sort of power. And it makes things easier for developers, doesn't it? They develop a game for iOS, it can run on your Mac now and on this Apple console. So when it runs on your phone, it runs in low graphics mode. And then when it runs on your Mac or whatever, it really be a thing and it could really disrupt the market there. Second thing, Apple Silicon selling to PC vendors, the same thing. Mara QHD is hearing Apple may be considering selling Apple Silicon to PC vendors. Now, why would Apple do this? This would take away a big advantage of theirs. But when you think about it, Apple don't want to go in at the cheap end, do they? Apple are premium products. They're for a certain demographic. You have to be, you know, sort of semi well off to at least be able to afford Apple products. And they don't want to go into the cheaper segment. You know that with iPhone. They don't want to compete with the 70, 80 percent of phones that are sold Android cheap. $200, $300. $200, $300. They don't want to do that. PC vendors do. And Apple could really kill Intel if they start selling silicon to PC vendors. They'll have to get some cooperation from Microsoft, which I do think they'll get. Microsoft will bring out an ARM version, no problem. As long as the manufacturers are committed to using this Apple silicon, that could easily be done. So that's something to watch out for. We'll see how that pans out anyway. The release dates of the new MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs. Well, according to Minji Ho, some analysts and supply chain people, we are going to have a MacBook Pro 13 Q4 this year, Apple Silicon. Design should not be changed. There's going to be a MacBook Air Q4. Design shouldn't have changed either. But of course with Apple Silicon. But definitely next year, quarter two, and next year, quarter three, we have a 14-inch MacBook Pro all new design, mini LED display, Apple Silicon. So a 14 inch MacBook Pro there and a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So these laptops will be thinner, lighter. They'll be a new design, probably bezel-less. They'll probably have Face ID, DDR5, the LPDDR5, which is much faster than LPDDR4. So that's low powered, super fast, mini LED displays, if I didn't say that already. And of course, the Apple Silicon. And these things are going to fly, all right? DDR5, you just imagine these things are going to be cool, quiet, efficient, just absolute monsters. So that's the apparent release date of those things. Now let's get into the MacBook Pro 16 and why did they nerf it? And if you have a look here, you can see the 9980HK. And you can see it says there's 16 lanes of PCI. Now the thing here is that's 16 lanes to allocate to whatever. So with the MacBook Pro 16, I believe you have eight lanes gone with the two Thunderbolt controllers because you have two Thunderbolt controllers, you have four ports, and I think they use four lanes for each controller. And then you have eight lanes for your GPU. 
Now, ninth generation CPUs were not supposed to support by 16 lanes, but when the MacBook Pro 16 came out, it clearly said 16 lanes of PCI. The 10th generation CPUs were supposed to support up to 40 lanes of PCI Express. But if you have a look here at the product page, it says 16. Now, I attended the briefing for these Intel 10th generation CPUs, and they clearly told me, and everyone else that attended that briefing, you could have up to 40 lanes of PCI Express with these 10th generation mobile parts the H parts. But look, the product page says 16 lanes. So I think that's mystery solved here. Intel have nerfed it. I think that Ryzen was coming out, they were scared, so they just said, yeah, you got 40 lanes. And, and then they've just pulled it at the last minute saying, no, chipset's not ready for it, or whatever reason they've pulled the 40 lanes of PCI Express support there. This is Intel. Apple have probably just followed suit here and said, yeah, okay, we'll put it back to 16 lanes. Now, why Apple were able to get 16 lanes in the ninth generation was probably because the chipset that Apple were using, because they do custom things with Intel, probably supported ninth and 10th generation CPUs, where usually you have to, you know, change the motherboard. We don't know. We're speculating here, but they could implement it. There's plenty of CPUs where they just artificially say that it can't do things like support ECC RAM. It can only support so much RAM when really it supports more. It's just how they sort of fit these products into the market. So now your MacBook Pro 16 says eight lanes of PCI Express. So it's gone down from 16 to eight. I think that mystery solved. So something's happened here. And the same thing happened with the desktop. The desktop was supposed to be PCI 4.0. And they nerfed that at the last minute as well, even though the motherboards are supposed to be capable of PCI 4. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. The XPS 17 coming soon. Tally ho.